Well, TMA, uh, today we're going to be working on the uh, BMW, the uh, 2007 X5, and uh, today we're going to be taking care of the coolant reservoir, the uh, coolant overflow tank, which is located on the passenger side. So, uh, without further ado, first here shortly, go ahead and tear into this. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start working on uh, getting this all taken apart. But uh, first, I wanted to go over some of the parts. Uh, it looks like we'll be using a uh, socket with a 10 millimeter on it. Tend to do the bolts that are on the parts here and parts over here and back here. So, uh, a pick or a screwdriver and an extension if you need it. So, I'm just going to put this back here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this first. Let's see. Alright, we should be able to pop that off now. Of course, we can always use a floppy screwdriver as well, but I'm not going to do it today. Uh, I did get the new part, by the way. Uh, it does suck. I have a broken part right there. So I'll show you later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off for now. I'm going to pick this out if I can. side very carefully. Take the wash just off the top of this. And then go out to the side. I don't think I need to do that, but I think I did could do anyways. Uh, so there's only two screws holding this in. This one right here. I went taking this part went this part off here, this screw. Uh, make sure that you're away from the contact with the positive here. Otherwise you will make a big explosion. Big pop noise all the sparks. I'm good. Alright, so that's out. Now we have to tackle the bottom portion. I believe there is one clip like there was up here, and then there's another clip for the uh, return hose in the bottom, which looks like this, or the intake hose. So uh, let me go and work on that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, a few days later. So uh, as you see, I've taken off the. Uh, Intake and the plenum that goes between the uh, the one down there and up there. So the tube. So I I've taken that out to make more room for the reservoir tank, uh, and then leave this off the side. So I was able to get to the connection. The connection is on the back side. I think you can see right here. So I had to pull this out. So I'd leave this forward far enough to get to this this connection, and then uh, make sure that it worked. So, uh, but that being said, I got the new parts in today. Here the old, here's the old box. And the part number that goes along with it. So, as you can see, this box is pretty beat up uh, looking. Which isn't there. There's one there. There's one on the other side. There's one at the bottom. And there's one right there. So, basically, the, what that ended up doing was it uh, broke the part on the, car, on the car, on the reservoir. Uh, so Specifically, specifically, the uh, that part right there, the gray part, uh, that broke in half, and then uh, forced me to order a new one because I didn't want to replace this later on. So, uh, that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in uh, to that nail connection down there, and the uh, the connection for the level sensor. The other one's up top here somewhere. I got to plug that one in, uh, but that'll be pretty easy. So, uh, for now. 
I got to put that back in, put some more coolage in. I've got to release uh, this portion right here, which is the level sensor. So now that I've got it out, I could go ahead and take this off and replace it with the new one. So uh, let me go ahead and put that back together and I'll show you what the end result there. Okay guys, it's a few days later. Uh, I've removed the intake plum. So you can see over here, I've got taken this portion off and then uh, I've got another intake plum down there. So to take the, uh, the tube off that goes between there. So I can get some more room to remove the, uh, the reservoir there. So I do have the reservoir for the uh, uh, power steering there, lay over, and then uh, basically got the underside. So now that it's been a couple days, here are the boxes. Uh, this is the old box. You see there's a little bit of dent there. There's a dent on that side there. There's a dent there. There's a dent there. Uh, I don't believe there's a dent anywhere else, but basically it ended up breaking apart. I'm gonna put that aside for now. Uh, this is the new one. There is a small little doohickey up there, but whatever. Uh, this is the new one. As you can see, there's a, a, there in the box, there and there. That's pretty much about it. So here's a new part. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, the part that goes down uh, there connects to the tube that goes to the bottom of this backwards. So if you look at this, uh, the tube actually runs, the connection runs uh, on the back side, as, as I believe. Uh, so it makes it harder to get to this actual nipple connection here. Uh, on the old one, this was broken. This is, this is brand new looking. It's good. It's uh, solid. So I'm going to connect that, that one, and the one up here, the very top, and then uh, call it J. Wrap back up and put some uh, more cool in there. So I'll go through the steps of uh, doing that as I go through and do it. But for now, new part, that goes back in there, and uh, I'll go ahead and do it as I see fit so see you guys all right guys so here we are a couple days later i've got it all back together to cut the cool top off i'm checking it make sure it's all good and whatnot so uh basically just removing this cap make sure the cool's topped off uh this you shouldn't have to do anything with you're basically just moving it out of the way so there's two bolts here there's a bolt back there and one up here and then i removed the uh dick plum and this uh so it made it easier to get to that whole thing so once i removed and replaced it um it was easy going so um but if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments down below as always like subscribe and share and as always do your thing thanks for watching guys